Hi everyone, I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. Now, on our last analysis, analysis we discuss why is the city hall allowing goons to submerge themselves in Nairobi CBD for those who were in Nairobi demonstration, the Gen Z's, and attacking them, grabbing people's property, chasing them away the peaceful demonstrators. And I said very well that this gun came from the office of the governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja. And therefore, if it is so, it circulated in social media. And finally today, it has forced Nairobi governor, Johnson Sakaja, to come out and deny this movement. On a video clip captured, showing Sakaja talking against this movement, I want us to listen to him as I going to as I'm going to display it on our YouTube platform and after that we're gonna carry on with our political discussion. Let's take a look and listen to Sakaja. Um on Tuesday of uh, alleged goons coming out of City Hall, which I asked that to be investigated. I myself was in the coast, we've been there for the whole week with our cabinet. Um, uh, just doing our end end of year, you know, retreat and replanning for this new financial year. The financial year ends in June, and uh, I would hate it that uh, something like that would have been planned uh, from City Hall, from wherever it is. Um, you know, normally when you're in such a situation, the first casualty is the truth, and when the first casualty is the truth, opportunistic uh, politicians even try to bring themselves into such you know a move to to taint uh, their opponents, you know. And so if somebody would, would, would try to claim that I, the governor, was meeting people um, to plan violence in City Hall, while one, I was in Diani, uh, number one, <laughs> with, with my cabinet from Sunday. I've just come back this morning. Um, and number two, I have always believed in Siasa Safi. I've always believed in that freedom um, of, of expression, even when it... You've listened to Sakaja. <clears throat> that is Sakaja with this team responding. And I want us to discuss one or two the reason why is Sakaja responding now to that movement. But before I carry on ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you for your great support. And as you bother assembled with the members, please like this video, drop your opinion at the comment section below. I want to be very brief and short today. Now, Sakaja as the governor, he have shown respect. That is my first observation. The number two, he have now humbled himself and explaining to whatever took place under his administration in his county is very much important. As today, we are waiting for president to speak with the Gen Z and understand them. That is also a good movement. And as a leader, you must behave that way. When these goons came from City Hall, let us just say, let us just say, that Sakaja was busy on his own world. But due to pressure, demand, and question or investigation, has forced Sakaja to go and decline and apologize. Maybe these goons were brought by the MCS in Nairobi. You never know. Maybe some of the top government officials in the government. You never know. So things are worsening. And finally, it has removed the current governor of Nairobi out to apologize. Number one, why is Sakaja apologizing? He has seen danger ahead. Because he wasn't expecting this but it had forced him to apologize. Number two, the goons had destroyed property. And yesterday again, I analyzed the Nairobi business community had a storm Bungay's administration to explain to them, to explain to them why are they allowing people to steal their properties. And it is painful. And I decided even to put myself on the same shoe. I wasn't mad by saying that. It is shameful that all these things are taking place 
with uh, the name of each and every person is blaming each other. It is a kind of political game which majority of leaders are playing. So as a governor of Nairobi, you must come and tell us the truth. And that is why Sakaja today have denied and he have, accused, he have declined that movement. And let's hope that as a governor, he must now find these people. He must find who are these people and who planned them or who sponsored them to destroy the businesses in Nairobi, to chase away peaceful demonstrators. Who are them? And in whose power or hands were they using to do such kind of a mannerless behavior? And that is what Sakaja must do right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case at that point. I wish you all the best and thank you so much for your great support.